So it's really hard to talk about the European new Roma strategy after all this story what we what we heard before. And um, but no, I think the best would be to call it that the virtual Roma integration and the real disintegration, because that's what I see that it's really happening. There is really one meta level, which is about the uh, discourse and the communication which is coming out from the European institutions and the national governments as well, known from the Hungarian EU presidency. But in the meantime, all those things, what is going and gone, like um, eliminating the, the uh, public work and, uh, and the huge social security, what is going on in many countries in Central Eastern Europe, but in Western European countries as well. I wouldn't like to go into that because Janos told that we will give an overall picture about the Hungarian situation, but rather I would like to talk about that how the EU Roma strategy framework will develop and give a little genealogy of that. So basically, and Hungary was one of the first countries in Central Eastern Europe who, which de devised the uh, Roma strategy. And um, it was in 1999-2000. Eva Orsos, when she was the uh, president of the ethnic minority um, office in Hungary. And, uh, and many Central Eastern European governments were very much inspired by this document. And after that, uh, many uh, international and intergovernmental organizations, they started to advocate for European Roma strategy, not just on a national level, but on an international level as well. And I think I was one of the person who, without really serious things and, and um, concept, we started to lobby for European Roma strategy when I was a director of the European Roma Information Office based in Brussels. It was established in 2003. It's a kind of advocacy and lobby office. And what we wanted to do, basically, to put on the EU agenda from issue and, and cap on that. And, um, and after that, uh, many other international actors like Open Society Institute, European Roma Educational Fund, and uh, the European Roma Traveler Forum, which is, uh, which is a kind of international forum for Roma representation beside the Council of Europe. They were very much pushing forward the idea to have a European Roma framework strategy. And thanks for that, we had two MEP in the Hungary, uh, from Hungary in the European Parliament, um, Victoria Moachi from the Liberal Party, Hungary. She was um, 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 uh, the member of the Liberal Party in the European Parliament, and, um, and uh, Livia Jaroka, who is, uh, belonged to the Fidesz and MEP in the European Parliament. And they were very much more before that. And finally, in uh, March, the European Parliament, they uh, um, approved the European Framework Strategy on Roma issue. And in April, the Commission sent out the communication and the framework, uh, what you can read it as well. So basically, this is a framework strategy. And many people think about it. This is absolutely a hard. <laughs> Um, document and, and it will really upgrade the situation of Roma. However, it's not really. There are some basic principles which should be followed by the national government and they have a deadline. By end of this year, 2011 December, every national uh, government, member state, they have to submit their own Roma strategy and applying those principles and those guidelines which are provided by the European Commission. And, um, and certainly that can be a litmus test as well. As far as I'm concerned, as I, as I started that in a reality, it's really the disintegration what we can track and what we can, what we can see. And, um, but in the meantime, it can really give some impetus and boost up a little bit the situation of the Roma. Particularly, if you're going to see the member states' um, budget, 
how much money they are able to allocate for um, for Roma integrational issues, there are not so much. And the European Union and the Commission is really can be a source for that. And um, one of the interesting uh, uh, that I would like to really emphasize is that in the European Roma framework strategy, there is one thing which were taken over by the Hungarian um, scientists, lobbyists, activists, that the Roma issue should not be just approached as an ethnic issue, rather as a social issue. And one of the things which is proposed by Livio Yaroka to, uh, to prepare a European crisis map, where we can uh, trace where are the people who are living edge of the society, who are totally marginalized economically, socially, and even territorially. And in Hungary, thanks for Professor Vladani, um, there is such a map, and uh, and uh, and and uh, and I know that the, uh, in the Eurostat the, and the Gallup as well, and the FRA, the Fundamental Rights Agency, they're really much uh, working on that. How they gonna make a, such a database, and also the crisis map in Hungary, and uh, and that basically, I think, thanks for the Hungarian activists at home. But in the meantime, going back to uh, the, the first sentence, what I told that the uh, real disintegration and the virtual integration, that does it really enough to have a European Roma strategy, a European Roma strategy framework? Does it really eliminate those social, economic, political marginalization which is going on against Roma?